What's up YouTube? Casual Paul here. Just wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, I still got the CRX all wheel drive build. Uh, soon to come. If you guys haven't seen the past video before this, go back to my channel, click, watch that. It basically sums up of what has been going on and what's been stopping me. My brother has his Honda in there, his EP3 almost ready to get out of the garage i'll be able to bring the crx and it's all go i actually still looking for a transmission uh for the all-wheel drive version and i'm waiting on a few more parts i got my gsr motor the heart for it that's also on past videos you guys can go and check those out if you like um but anyway i wanted to get ahead of myself and wanted to possibly fix a few dents on the car. So I was looking through the CRX and it does have a few dents, an old car. So I was thinking, I'm gonna show you guys a trick on how to save time, how to make the job easier. I'm sure that you guys have done body work on your own cars before to save some money and uh, you know, everybody probably has, if you work on cars like I do and like you guys do. So, what I want to show you is, I know you guys have seen this before. This is a dent puller. What you do is you find a dent, you drill your holes on your body panel, you screw it in, and you pull out the dent. Problem with that is that after you're done, you end up with a panel full of holes that looks like Swiss cheese. Now you have to fix the panel from the dent that you just fixed, okay? So I'll go ahead and post up a picture right now. You guys can check out what I'm talking about. They do sell the machine. It's kind of like a little stud welder. And uh, it welds these little studs. So what you do is you spot weld these little studs to the dent and you pull it out. And then the problem with that is that after you're done, you have to cut all these little studs off. You have to grind the panel down, waste more time, more work for you. Plus, after a while, these little studs get expensive of buying over and over and over and over. I'll go ahead and post a picture of that too so you guys can check out what I mean about that. What I'm talking about is making an electric dent puller. Yes, you guys heard that, electric dent puller. What it does, it works kind of the same principle as a spot welder or the stud puller. The thing is, is there's no studs involved. Uh, you put up the dent puller to the body panel, push the button, you weld it, pull it out, it breaks off, you go to the next spot, weld it, pull the dance out, breaks off, go to the next spot. It doesn't leave a bunch of horrible studs on there. Uh, if it leaves any wells, they're very minimal, easy to fix. The whole point about body work is to get it as straight as possible and get the dent out as close as possible to factory. So you don't have to use all that body filler all that bondo which will make an awful job okay i worked on cars where bondo's an inch an inch and a half thick or more and there's no reason for that okay so i'm going to show you guys how to make this electric dent puller you can buy them i believe snap-on makes a, a a puller and it's called a panel beater um they do run about eighteen hundred dollars the last time i seen them there's probably some knockoffs that are probably a little bit less uh they do run off battery power so what happens is you use a car battery or two car batteries that are in there and that's what they use to weld the tip of the puller to the body panel the thing with that is always have to charge them so when you, if you're not ready, you're, it's not charged, then it's gonna ruin your day, okay? So 
this is the way this is going to work okay I got myself a transformer out of a microwave okay you can get yourself a microwave practically anywhere I mean they're throwing microwaves out all the time go on craziness on your free uh, I seen so many microwaves. That's where I got that microwave, and uh, I mean they have microwaves for five dollars. And I mean all you need is a transformer. I went ahead and take it out. Uh, if you guys never pulled one of these before, uh, make sure you guys look up a video on that, and it will explain to you all the safety procedures and everything because there is a lot of stuff in microwaves that is not safe and it's not good for you uh, and can hurt you or kill you so yeah make sure you look that up first and uh, it's very simple so go check out a video on how to remove a transformer out of a microwave okay this is the way this works okay so I have a bolt here and I have these two nuts okay right here at the end this is the original part to the damp cooler okay it actually goes on top screws on has a, a had a screw that came out of here which screwed in into the panel to pull out the vents well we don't need that screw what we're going to do is this is going to be our new tip what i'm going to do is weld these two nuts to the top of this like this and this whole assembly is going to go on to the damp cooler just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. I'm going to cut this tip off, sharpen it to a point, and that's what's going to go onto the dent. When the arc welds to it, we pull the dent out with the point. So I will show you when this is done you guys will see it i'm just kind of explaining it to you guys now how the setup is going to be okay i got myself a little uh i made this out of a copper pipe and it's just like a little you know little fitting where i can put my my cable through because this is going to be the cable that's going to supply the power from the transformer okay i went ahead and put a washer up here this is going to go on top like this this is going to go up here like this and it's going to have all this stuff this welded to it so i can change out my bolts at any time i want to once i'm used up with it and whatever and this is going to go to the cable of course and you guys will see as we get along on the build and how to do this okay so that's the, the simple way of how to explain it to you guys. Uh, they got me some, uh, it was an old extension cord with a switch. That's going to be my switch to turn on the power and shut off the power. Okay. I got my plug that actually came off the microwave. I just cut it off. And we got the transformer okay as you can see there's coils on the top and bottom of the transformer or if you guys see it now it's on side to side but there's some thick windings and some very fine windings you don't want the fine windings okay that's high output we don't need that okay if you want to learn some cool stuff with transformers you can make all kinds of stuff using both of these together very dangerous high voltage stuff but check it out I mean it's pretty cool so we're only going to use the thick windings and that also has the plugs here for our power okay so what I have to do is I have to get rid of this top coil right here with the fine windings and the way I'm going to do that is just with the hacksaw I'm going to run a hacksaw through here like this and I'm going to just cut 
and we're going to cut all the way through until I get to here and this part falls off and comes off. Then I'll be able to pull this out on this side. Okay. I got me some cable here. Uh, I don't know the exact. It's just a uh, cable that I had laying around from an old uh, amplifier for a car. So, I mean, it's it's pretty thick, you know, but it's going to go inside here and I'll show you guys how to wind it in here so we can set this up. Okay. Now, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wild this up to here. I'm going to attach this to this. And I am going to cut this out, get get us all prepared and, and ready to start assembling. Because I know it's pretty boring and you guys don't want to see me sawing and welding and all this stuff for you guys. So yeah, I'll show you I'll show you how it comes out when it's done. And uh, I'll get back to you guys when I finish doing this. I'll get out to my garage and get it done. And I'll be back shortly. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin.